Well, this video is going to be talking about the modify element tools in MicroStation. And the tools that fall under the category of modify are things like, obviously, modify element, but also the break tools and some of the trim tools. So we're going to start off by looking at the modify element first. So we're going to come up here and select the first file. Under the drawing workflow and the home tab on the far right, we'll see modify. There's our group. The first icon is modify element. We're going to select that. On our tool settings window, we can see there's a show extended settings. It's always good to explore this. I'm going to extend that out. And we're going to leave these set for the moment. The first element we're going to be looking to modify is a line. So on the modify group, most of the modify tools, where you pick on an element does matter. It determines what gets modified about the element. So the first element we're going to be modifying is this line down here. If I pick on the right side of the line, I'll be editing the endpoint to the right. If I pick on the left side, I'll be editing the left end point. So I'm going to be doing a data on the right side of the element anywhere on this half. Once I do a data, you're going to see the AccuDraw compass appear at the other end, and it rotates to match the angle. So I can use the AccuDraw compass to change the length and also the bearing if I wanted to. I'm just going to relocate the endpoint to the end of this line by using AccuDraw. I just do a data, and there it is. The next element I'm going to modify is the circle. So if I move my cursor over here, on any part of the circle, it doesn't matter if I do a data, the compass, AccuDraw compass, goes to the center, and as I move my cursor out, I am defining the radius. So I'm going to give it a 2-inch radius, so I'm going to type in colon 2, and then I'm going to do a data and now I've changed the radius of that circle. Now that's picking a line in a circle. Let's see what happens with a shape. I have up here above, I have a shape. Now if I move my cursor over the top midpoint of this shape and I do a data, that's what I'm modifying. I can change the height of the shape by moving it up and down, or if I move it left and right, I'm going to be changing it from a rectangle to a trapezoid. So let's say I just move it up a little bit and I could type in a number if I wanted to. I'm just going to do a data, and there's the modification. Now, if I would have done a data on the corner or a vertice, the tool settings window adjusts. It recognizes that this is a vertex, a corner, and it tells me that it's a sharp corner. Now, I have a choice. I can change this from sharp to rounded to chamfered. I'm going to change it to chamfered. Now, the value is 3 quarters of an inch. I had saved settings in a prior example. There's a checkbox for orthogonal, and we're going to leave that check. Now, as I move my cursor out, you can see if I move it back to the center of the compass and I do a data, I've now changed that corner vertex from sharp to a chamfered three quarters of an inch. On the tool settings window, you're going to notice there's vertex settings. There's two choices, from element or last used. I had it set to from element. That meant that if I picked a corner and it was a sharp corner, then the tool settings window would reflect that. If I plan to change the vertex from, let's say, sharp to chamfered a number of times, I can change that to last used. So if I do that, now last time I did this, I had a sharp corner, I changed it to a chamfered corner. If I go to this next corner and all I need to do is data on the vertex, it automatically recognizes that I used chamfered last. I can data again, two clicks, and I've changed it from a sharp corner to, in this case, a chamfered corner. So I'm going to go ahead and do some undos. Next file, we're going to go up to File Open. We're going to be opening up the second file, which is about Break Element Tools. We're going to be going back up to the Modify group, and the second icon there is Break Element. On the Tool Settings window, this is actually four separate tools. Even though it's just one icon, there are four separate tools. So the first one is break by two points. In this example we're going to do here, we've got this leader line that crosses these horizontal lines. We may want to break the horizontal lines as not to obstruct the leader line. This tool would be perfect for that. I can just do a data, a left click, and then I can create a gap. And I can do the same thing up above, a data, and then another left click. That breaks those two lines, giving it a gap there. So I'm going to do a couple of undos. The next icon is going to be break by point. Let's say this horizontal line here, and you can see this is all one line. I need to break this line 
at the intersection of the thick vertical line. This is the tool I'd want to use, break by point. Now I need to break this at the intersection of the two. So what I'm going to do is come over to my intersection snap. I'm going to start by hovering over the horizontal line and then slide my cursor to the left until it highlights the intersection. Now the solid magenta line, that's the line that's going to be broken. The dashed magenta line is not the element that will be broken. So you want to be careful about how you're choosing this because you don't want to break the wrong line. So now that it's highlighted the horizontal line, I'm going to be doing a data, left click. Now that element is broken right at that point. There's no gap between those two points, these two elements. So I'm going to do an undo. The next one is going to be break by drag line. So I'm going to choose that. And let's say between this line, its endpoints, and the line down here, these endpoints, we need to cut right along here and also cut right along here. So I'm going to move my cursor to the endpoint. I'm going to do a data. Now it looks like I'm drawing a line, but this is a cut line. It's like a wire. I'm going to go to the other end of this line. I'm going to do a data. And if I hover back over, you can see all of these elements are cut right along that intersection. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side, do a data on this end of the line, data on this end of the line, and now I'll go to my element selection tool. So I'm come up here to element selection, and I'm going to then select all the elements here, and you can see those are just broken out, cut right along those two lines there. And that'd be great if you needed to delete those elements or change their attributes from solid to dashed or something like that. So I'm going to go ahead and unselect them, and I'm going to do an undo. Now the last one we're going to see, we're going to go back up to the break tool, and the last one will be break by elements. So I'm going to select that, and we still are looking at the bridge over here. So let's say, for example, this line right here, we needed to make it dashed over the bridge deck like this line down here. Well, obviously, we can't have part of the line dashed and part of it solid. We need to break it. So we need to break it by this vertical line here, and by this other vertical line there. So we're going to use this tool, Break by Elements. I'm going to hold the left button down. I'm going to select these two lines by crossing over. And now it wants to know what element do I want to cut. I'm going to select this line. I'm going to do a data, data to accept. And now if I hover back over this, you can see that element is broken. Now I can just change its attributes to match this one. So I'm going to do a couple of undos. And now we're going to go to the next file. So we're going to come up to File Open. We're going to go to the third file. And we're going to be talking about trimming elements. So we're going to go up to our Modify group again. We're going to go to Trim Multiple. On the Tool Settings window, we have three possible choices. The first one lets us trim and extend. The second one lets us just trim. And the third one allows us to just extend. So we're going to need to take between these two break lines, we're going to need to trim this guardrail and the ground. So I'm going to go ahead and zoom in here so you can see this. We're going to be just trimming in this example. So what I need to do is select the two elements that are cutters, and that's the two break lines. So I'm going to hold the left button down, select across. Now that I've got them selected, I need to choose the elements that I want to, in this case, trim. So I'm going to hold the left button down, dragging across with a dragging line. I'm going to release. I'm going to reset, and those elements are trimmed very quickly. We're going to pan over to our next example. We're going to go to the last icon, which is just extend. Our scenario over here on the left, we need to take these guardrail lines and extend them to, let's say this is just a utility box. So it wants me to pick the element that I'm going to use as the cutting element or extend. I pick this object. I'm going to then hold the left button down, dragging across the elements that I want. They've selected them. I hit reset, and they're extended. Now the first icon, which is trim and extend, that one we're going to look at last here. Now we have these two boxes here that are obscuring our guardrail. On the right, that's our desired state, where the guardrail is trimmed to either side and they're extended down to the ground. So what we're going to be doing over here is trimming out the guardrail and extending these lines to the ground. So this is going to mean we're going to need to select multiple elements. In this case, it's going to be the ground and the utility box. 
So I'm going to hold the left button down, selecting those two elements. Now we are in trim and extend. So the first thing I'm going to do is trim. So I'm going to hold the left button down, drag it across the guardrail. I release, they're trimmed. Now I need to extend. I'm going to hold the left button down, drag it across the bottom part of these line string, release, and there it is. So I've done a trim and extend all in one tool. So we're going to do some undos here. I'm going to go to our next file. I'm going to go to File Open, number four, which is Trim or Extend Elements to an Intersection. I'm going to go back up to our Modify group, and we're going to be looking at the Trim to Intersection. Now, the name of the tool says Trim to Intersection. It's kind of a misnomer. It not only does it trim, but it also extends. It'll do both. So now we need to extend this vertical line down to this line, and we need to trim this part off. Now we're going to pick this line first, and then the second line, which side we pick in relationship to the intersection determines which side we keep. So just as an example, if I pick it on this side, you can see it trimmed it, and it removed that side. So I'm going to do an undo. We're going to do this again, and we're going to pick that line on the right side, and you can see it extended and trimmed all at once. And then we're going to pick this line and we're going to extend it to this intersection here. So that is our extend element or trim element to intersection. A couple of undos. We're going to go to File Open. Our last file will be trim or extend elements to another element. So we're going to be coming up here to the trim or also extend to element. So I'm going to select that on the tool settings window. This gives me an option to change the order in which I pick the cutting elements. Right now, I'm going to be picking the elements I want to trim and then the cutting or extending element second. So in this case, I want to take this arc and I want to extend it up to this line. So I want to pick the element I want to modify first, pick the element I want to extend it to second. It goes up and it extends it. Now this also trims, as I mentioned. So let's say this vertical line here, we need to trim this line back to that horizontal line. So the element I want to modify is this element and where I pick, whether it's this side of the intersection of this horizontal or this side is important. So I'm gonna keep this bottom part. So I'm gonna pick the side I wanna keep, pick the element I wanna trim it to and you can see it trimmed it. Now these two lines also need to be trimmed and this line needs to be extended. This tool will do both of those, trim and extend. So if I move my cursor over here, hold the left button down, drag across all four elements, then I pick the horizontal element, I've extended and trimmed all in one operation. So those are your, some of your modify tools and hopefully you feel more comfortable about how they work because there's lots of opportunities to trim, break and modify elements. See you in the next video.